Hi there, sign of Leo. This is Kim and I'm hoping to get some good messages for you all today for your next 48 hour opening up to, I hope this lighter is strong enough to some Paulo Santo, your angels, my angels, my mom in the picture. All right, and here's the blessing for our reading. Accept it if you want it. <clears throat> what are we going to do? We're going to do, I want to do it just like I did Taurus's and Capricorn's reading. I want to do a, no, not Capricorn's. It was Taurus and Virgo's. <clears throat> Celtic cross first. And maybe not even much clarifying. Just to get, you know, we get our message and then we move on to the oracle. That's kind of what I'm wanting to do. Is, uh, what's the message? I don't want to clarify it to death, but we will get more specifics uh, with the oracle. So, I think that should include more people. Alright. Messages for Leo's. Anything that happens with the with the sun, with the eclipse, it's going to be really strong with your sign, obviously, because of being a Leo. You can get my energy in here. There we go. Didn't know you could not see that. All right. So, yeah, you're probably feeling, well, if you're like me, I've been going the ups, up and down, up and down, sometimes feeling ascension, like symptoms, but also um, feeling real tired sometimes and then have a lot of energy, especially the closer that we're getting to this eclipse. So, what is the issue For Leo, what's the issue for Leo? <laughs> well, that's similar. <laughs> that's similar to the last reading, kind of. Um, I have the... There. Sorry. Eight of Cups, which is about... It's about going after your ninth cup, ultimately. And... The emotional things that you have to leave behind or detach from. Sometimes these are things that didn't work out. Not all, I wouldn't think, but sometimes they are. Sometimes it's like walking away from dissatisfaction or a mess even. This is the dissatisfaction. The Four of Cups is in the um, challenge. It feels like there's an energy that wants to be more moving, like moving more, moving around more, exploring more, more adventure. Because what I'm getting is the um, picture of like a caged lion. <laughs> That's horrible. I know. But I'm getting the picture of a caged lion kind of being like, this is, or, or a lion in a nice zoo where it's like, everything's nice and all. But why are these walls so high? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you have to go inward because the challenge is not really resonating with the three cups anymore. The three cups is normally having some good memories coming together with others. But when you've got that fourth cup that's being offered, it's because you're calling it in. Okay. Lots of watery, uh, lots of in your emotions. The two of cups was in the reverse and that was on the bottom of the deck. I felt like it was probably the heart of the matter, but we'll go. Of course, the two of cups normally would be about healthy, good partnerships that are happy and healthy. What about the not always happy, though? Still could be healthy with that not, not being continually happy. Those will go through ups and downs, too. But, yeah, there's something that just feels rather um, caged caged seeing clearly wow look at this goodness okay. seeing clearly now whether that has to do with what you're putting in your body or it can have to do with that it can have to do with your diet you can have to do with exercising and feeling healthier, getting better oxygen supply, like all things that 
you know, that could make you see something clearly or kind of narrowing it down for you. Your heart is narrowing it down that there has to be a parting of the ways in some kind of soulmate situation. And of course, there will be healing in another uh, connection. That's just how it always is. But when this happens, that happens. Um, but you also have the nine of cups coming out with it. At first, I thought it was just two cards. But no, you have three cards all at the heart of the matter. And the Nine of Cups is because this is a wish granted. So it's not the heart necessarily being pain. It's more like the heart being in regret. You see all these cups, my Lord. Six, seven, eight, nine of cups. Six, seven, eight, nine. The challenge. The fresh new start. Oof. You guys keep giving me really strong readings. I mean, like, wow. Wow. Past energy for Leos. Past energy for Leos. I think is this card. Okay, that makes sense. Dark Knight of the Soul energy. Could really have dealt with some very real um, anxiety, depression feeling of hopelessness, feeling of like, I don't know what to think at this point, because it's gotten, you've gotten past the obsessive thinking of, I can't move. This is too restrictive, whatever this mind thought process was. And then it goes one step further to, okay, well now it's just really dark, dark and dreary. And you could even have like depression symptoms with the nine of swords. You can have trouble sleeping. You can have, I mean, so it's just a lot of anxiety. <clears throat> and I don't even want to dwell on it too much because it being in the past is, is a, that's a good thing. That's, that's like, that's a good thing. That's where you want that energy to be is go ahead and be in the past because you learn to take control of your thoughts. And also there's a sense that the heart knows that there's a little bit of combination of you and your own choices for your emotional health in every single aspect of your life that affect your emotional health that had something to do with this also not just the situation so knowing that is what probably helped you get out of that energy i'm thinking <clears throat> and the nine of cups the wish the wish granted it's what you wanted it's the transformation that you wanted what is the uh goals or destiny goals or destiny here Ooh. to have no more waiting <laughs> ten of pentacle on the bottom <laughs> ten of pentacle on the bottom um wow wow and then this one's wanting to show here too what's this one? Oh, five of swords okay let's <laughs> look at that right now so the hanged woman in reverse is the okay waiting's over your perspective has shifted and it's like seeing the point of why you had to have some kind of time to yourself some time alone or some time to think while you waited on your manifestation while you waited on that that cup to come okay and it's coming. So I have the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Goodness. What about the future energy? Letting go of how something has to happen. So... It, there might be a period where things don't feel as stable and you know why well you've got these both fours one is a is a challenge and one is in the reverse that to me means they're both suggesting there's going to be a switch in your path it's a clear sign that there's going to be a switch in your path and there's that in in between transition time that doesn't feel right and the reason it doesn't is because it isn't it, it is off there's a reason you feel that way, and it, and it is because something is not only about to shift, but letting you know, no, this isn't, like, this path is going to change. So don't, don't be surprised if something crumbles in a foundation so that another one can get built. 
five of pentacle in the reverse you're coming out of a period of struggle of um either health or financial struggle the king of swords here having to be more disciplined um not just like with yourself but in general having to be more disciplined by the way you go about things this could be about doing things by the book but also like i said not being too attached on on shutting yourself off anymore is what i'm getting strongly let's put this let me put this over here i've got to scoot these over a little bit that's just annoying me okay how does leo feel that <laughs> like you don't know what to expect honestly i feel this is like anticipation i don't always get this card as anticipation but you can't imagine that the anticipation is almost even heightened whenever you know that there's a divine plan whenever you know that you should always celebrate more than what you think is coming because usually when you have that much faith that there is a divine plan you are always pleasantly surprised and always find yourself saying this supreme power always steps in and makes things way better than i could have ever imagined as long as like you're not ignoring your own divine path if you let fear step in and make decisions for you instead of trusting um <clears throat> this divine energy to guide you then i don't know but <laughs> but so you may be feeling like it may be coming across as anxiety or anticipation but it, it's definitely like you're not sure what it is, but you know it's good. There we go. You're not sure what it is, but you know it's good. And you know it's coming. In the environment for right now, in the environment for right now for Leos. The Two of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> Said I wasn't going to clarify. This, to me, feels like being undecided. If I'm going to combine it with the Five of Pentacles on the bottom, it feels like being split on or postponing a decision that you have made in your mind really a long time ago. No more waiting. You can't postpone something, a decision any longer. Uh, if you stay in this environment, it's like the mind being split, but it actually knows that it's going to stay in this uh, lack mentality or there's always going to be some kind of worry from this position. It, it, it's The energy is not that great here. Well, with the two of swords in the reverse. There's not equal partnership in a sense of um, intellectually where, where you're thinking and where somebody else is thinking. And so therefore a decision had already been made it's just standing as undecided. But they're like five of pentacles, ten of swords. It's almost like somebody's not in your environment, it's not critically thinking the same as you. And so therefore there's like this pull, push and pull when it comes to being split down the middle it never really is it's always this way and that way it's very much so an opposition is what i'm getting it's an opposition and it's hard to make this energy peaceful all right the hopes or fears for leo hopes or fears for leo oh we definitely are sideways okay oh <laughs> all right the four ones mm-hmm in the upright, it's like, yep, yeah, this is a split, but it's going to be peaceful. And we can all kind of agree. Um, with the four of wands being in the hope, there's a hope to move on to something really big. Again, like I said, this is something your soul had practiced. And so it is what you're ascending to. You know it's going to be bigger, better, and everything above. You know it's going to multiple choice, all of the above. <laughs> like it's going to be everything. But there is a fear because there's an also a soul maybe a soul acknowledgement that this 444 is like yes you're being directed yes you're being guided you're going to be guided to change paths and that might scare you <clears throat> mm, fixed fixed
like sign. That's that might be why it might be in this airy season too with the four of wands. Um, because you have no more waiting. That if it crumbled, it wasn't that strong to begin with. It, but while it was there, it served purpose. Eight of Swords. Look, it was laying right here. Eight of Swords. This Eight of Swords always reminds me of their Two of Swords card. You know what I mean? But I see this as you transcending. Um, transcending obtrusive thoughts or obsessive thinking if you notice in this eight of swords the uh person is bigger larger than life and these ships are trying to say here we're going to make room for you to get on through here you have you have everywhere to go through here the only thing that would be possibly getting your way is what they're trying to pull out and there would be pieces of your own higher self saying no you're never really restricted you're transcending you're becoming larger than the problem to begin with or the issue to begin with and you're certainly not restricted not when you see the value and what you learn or pulled from where you were <clears throat> five of wands okay now we have three four five there could be some kind of um competition it might just be talking about Aggre it might be talking about aggressiveness. Let me get another one. Ten of Swords. There might be some anger over um, your decision to have an ending of some sort. To and uh, what to you feels like now. If it's what you're ending for yourself, then it has to do with your your thought process. As far as this eight, nine, ten. Look at this. Eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight and the nine and the ten wow and that and that might be why because if you notice her dress is very similar to this dress so you're breaking free from a restricted and or restrictive way of thinking or and or mind process in the environment that you're in not that one thing causes the other just the, what happens to be how you feel, how your mind feels in a certain place. This can make some people upset or angry. I see this. Um, but it still is ascension. And you do have the lover's energy, which her dress and her little, the slit opening. It's like, yeah, this is the crossroads, this decision. Um, it's almost like you're already passing go. Now you decide. Now you decide. No matter what you decide, it's going to be... Um, Bigger and better is what I'm getting. Bigger and better. Wow. Guys, Ace of Wands. New, passionate adventure for you. High-level soul contracts for many different purposes. But the Hierophant is something you're going to really passionately want to be committed to. And it's new. Okay, so that's what I've got. That's what I've got. So what we're gonna do? I'm not gonna clarify. I'm really not. Like I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna clarify. I'm not gonna narrow it. I'm just gonna pull some oracle cards, and then we're gonna get this show on the road. Wouldn't it be fun though to have this show on the road? That's what I think. I think it would be a lot of fun to like. I don't know. Do it from a van or something. It might be fun. <laughs> I'm I'm odd like that. I would do that as long as it were near the beach. All right, so guys, I'm going to pull from the Oracle Genetic Gifts first, see what kind of messages want to come out in a sense for this eclipse. I'm bringing in a lot more light energy information to you. Ascension, uh, ascending, ascension. What do you have for Leos right away? Meditation teacher and Ascension 5, yes, of course. Well, you know what? 5 goes along with Leos, so 5... Light ether, mental tunes to spirit, meditation teacher, teach, heal, and wellness, portal keeper, 3D to 5D ascension fulfillment. That's what I thought. You have number three, life path number three, the communicator, ruling planet, Jupiter. Hello. Expansion that you don't see coming. There it is again. Expansion that you don't see coming. Um, and you're going to be... There's a lot to do with your throat chakra, getting together with new friends, 
new acquaintances too. Um, energy healer, Reiki, chakra healer, uh, a crystal healer, healing touch. Another card about healing. Teach, heal, meditation, wellness, and meditation teacher. It might have something also to do with the ascension. Being an energy healer, you could really even heal if you had a YouTube channel just through your voice, through communication, through the, the resonance, because your intention comes out in literally everything you say and do. When you truly have love for others, you truly have good intentions, it, it comes out, it comes out in your, your voice and everything you do, <laughs> everything you do. why you could meet somebody who you think is on the complete wrong path and they might be according to something or somebody but they could be the nicest person you've ever met and you'd be like for some reason their soul is just um beautiful and that's why <laughs> there's a there's meaning to the um intentions okay i don't know why i'm even talking about that but ancestral line is older than earth i have ascension number 12 um guide humanity toward towards a multi-star system indigo child is on the bottom 1978 to 1988 that's me too <laughs> and star attunements for high again high spiritual healing activation ascension and life missions you really have no idea what your words could activate in somebody uh, that has a ripple effect that's healing <clears throat> lots of people because you're Leo, lots of people. You reach lots of people as it is. You can imagine if just one simple thing, then whatever it is, an ancestral line older than Earth, of course. Of course. Um, ascension number eight, mental plane, seed crystal, eight to ten chakras are activated. Eight to ten, and then seven. Because we have to have things that are ascending here. This is the challenge. This is the challenge of not fitting in. Um, because, okay, it says pineal gland is fully open, number seven. Meaning I feel like you're really, really tuned into purpose and all that stuff. But then that can make you feel even more alienated. <laughs> because because of where you're from. Twelve. I get that uh, 12... Ascension 12, guide humanity towards a multi-star system. We're already from a multi-star Like, I don't know. I can't even tap into it. <laughs> so, astral plane. You could have, maybe exhibit caution, though, when you're doing that stuff. Yoga instructor, body and mind. Another card about uh, your connection to healing. And then, two, water. Flood of mental emotion. Akashic records on the bottom, all souls, universal events, past, present, and future. YouTube platform could be part of your spiritual challenge, as well as the thing that your uh, spiritual purpose is for, a spiritual purpose, number seven, yeah. Your spiritual calling and your spiritual challenge almost at the same time. Akashic field. All information, power, energy, and experiences vibrate here. And something about that yoga helping with the access to uh, this energy or and or information. Let's do one more. Maternal side. Spiritual gifts. Wisdom. Inheritance. <clears throat> by the mother's line. And then, of course, on the bottom of the deck, we have 33. Master number 33, the master teacher, ruling planet, Neptune. God, thank you. Answering our prayers. Uh, Neptune. Because <clears throat> we are, like I said, like the message came out in your um, Celtic cross. You're ascending um, or transcending. You're in any kind of human limitation because, remember, you're like out of this world. <laughs> Swan, um, effortless creativity effortless creativity unicorn your third eye wide open your sixth chakra wide open connection to the divine your ability to um see creativity you know always oh i was get, picking up something about dna but i didn't say because it didn't, didn't have it on there i thought it did but it didn't 
But this one says earth, DNA, and cell structure change. One, that's exactly what's happening. I know you, with this solar eclipse, that's exactly what's, <laughs> what's happening. <clears throat> 333, you're very powerful. Make sure you're protecting your energies at this time, including who you answer and who you talk to. Even if you're being cordial, just extending yourself, your energy to someone, even if you're cordial, they're not. It, you have to be really pick, like be very picky of who you're giving your energy to. It's like opening up a channel. Um, and the dolphin, healing energies, your vibration, your, your uh, frequency or whatever you want to call it. It's healing in many ways. might have a success in money here coming up because of the pig card it usually comes with up when you're when you have the ability to be a little bit more greedy just listen to the rage against the machine song darkness is it darkness i can't i, I want to sing it because it's a fun song to sing it starts off when he goes great <laughs> causing in it okay, okay i won't i will get the i'll get censored if i sing that whole song Pig, beware of greed. Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. Feather, someone you know is undependable or insincere. Have dogs getting together with friends. I also have eagle, triumph over your obstacles. Firecracker, there's excitement. Fan, romance, celebration, or party. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Oh, and you might have some healing, literally some healing going on. I don't know why I threw it up there, but look, the two hands, energy, energy, energy exchange, energy change. <laughs> Mountain road, you're on the road to success. Doing something risky and taking a chance. Doing something risky, taking a chance. Someone working against you behind your back with the rat. What? I don't get this. I'm going to take these two, and we are going to clarify using the um, Kipper deck. It's pretty blunt. Uh, harp, great happiness for you. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Younger woman, dealing with relationship with younger woman, and that could be a child too. So lightning, control your anger, especially if it's, you know, a child. Uh, or you will be sorry. Um... So let's, let's go ahead and see what the keeper deck has. Let me control your anger with anyone. I just meant for sure if it's, yeah. <clears throat> All right, we have rat. Who is the rat? Who's the rat? What's the rat about? Oh, it's ending. Don't worry about it, it's ending. <laughs> Coffin. Ooh. Sudden wealth. What? This is a situation that's on its way out. It's a person that's on their way out. There may be more than one. Here's the. They may be angry. There may be one or more than one person angry or upset because you're going on a divine detour and you're just you're just doing it. And so that that might be that. And then the sudden wealth card, though, it's funny. It came out right on top of tortoise because it might be like you've waited for this for a very long time. Look, to release yourself, to free yourself from something. And, and sometimes that something has to do with our finances that is, uh, you know, stopping us from whatever it is that we'd rather be doing or improving the life that we already have right now, right, in some way. So... It, it's like some kind of investment that's going to pay, that is paying off or that's going to pay off. Taking care of, you have mastery numbers, 11 and 33. Give us more on the um, good things here. The risk. There's something on the risk. I have a message of concern. Might be a good concern, Okay. And then courtship, getting to know somebody, coming together with someone. Whoops. And unexpected income. Number 27. Mature man on the bottom of the deck. 
So that's what I've got for you guys. I'm sending you light and love. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm actually going to pull one of these. Sorry, I thought I'd already pulled one of these. Zero, zero. <laughs> Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening around you. Trust your intuition. Follow their guidance without any delay and focus inward through meditation and prayer. I am observant. May, reminding you to observe the science. Yeah, an ending here, but confident of this ending. Number 13. 20. You can relate to others on almost a cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. Number 20. Also have 99. I am courageous. It's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life. It is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. 99. I am courageous. And then number two. Another two. So you got two, two, right? somewhere here yeah yeah two two um you have a great talent for finding solutions your intuitive unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others to the most fair or beneficial outcome i am diplomatic number two so that is what i've got for you leos like and subscribe if you did end up liking this if you need a private reading you can reach out to me in the description box below is how is through my website so i'm sending you love and light bye, -bye.